Hey viewers, it's Ket. Before I get started in the guide, I just want to give a quick shout out to Obby Elite. This has been my home for quite some time uh, as an Obby. Uh, if you are an Obby or interested in making one or just want to come chill out, I really do encourage all of you to uh, just pop in and uh, say hello to the chat. So the purpose of the guide really is to answer some of the questions that the CC has had or people have come to me in, in private messages and asked, yo, how do I train farming? How, how do I even begin? And I just really wanted to make a guide purposefully for low levels to explain all the teleport methods, the efficient routes, and how to get started and just really what to do routinely on how to train this skill. So um, firstly, as you'll notice in the skill guide, from level one, you're not really given too many options as far as like trees or uh, different or even herbs, for example. So starting out at a low level typically can be challenging because you don't have all the allotments unlocked yet. So the purpose of this guide really is just going to give you a quick, efficient method to get to level 30. And I believe 30 is a great starting point because it unlocks willows and it allows you to start uh, fruit trees as well. So my method to get 30 very quickly is actually bagged plants and your POH. And I'll show you exactly how to do this, the cheapest method and the quickest method. So the first thing you wanna do is set up your inventory exactly how I, I have mine uh, with three watering cans. Um, I just bring a stamina potion, um, your cash stack here and multiple teleport methods to Falador and to your POH. If you do not have a POH already, you'll need to buy one, which is very simple. You just go to Falador and over here is the uh, state agent. You just pay him 5,000 coins and he will set up a house for you in Remington. And then you could just use teleport to house tablets to get there to and from. All right, now that that's settled, you will actually be using this water pump here to refill your watering cans every single trip. So you'll be teleporting to Falador after you earn your house and you'll be using that water pump. And then we'll actually go over to Falador Park and there's a gardening supplier here that sells bagged plants and bagged trees and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna open her store and we're going to focus on bagged plant ones. Uh, we can also focus on bagged dead trees and nice trees and as well as oak trees whenever you get to that level. For the purpose of this guide, I'm just gonna show you the bare minimum, just a bag plant one, that starts you out at level one. Um, and as soon as you grab a full inventory of bag plants or, um, or dead trees or nice trees, for example, you're gonna want to teleport to your house. And then upon arrival, we will go to the house settings and turn building mode on. And the cool thing about this is you will not need a hammer or a saw to make these. You'll just need a, a one dose of the water from your can. So you just click on the small plant space one and you'll see that you have a wide array of different options here uh, as far as leveling goes. So level one, you obviously start out with the lowest bag plant one. But as you can see, you gain like 31 XP in both farming and construction. So it's actually a really quick method if you just remove them and then build and remove. You can actually hold your hand on the uh, one key. So I don't even have to move my mouse at all. It's uh, option one on here and it's option one in the chat to, to remove it. All right, and so once you're finished with that, you just teleport back to Falador and you go west a bit here and use this watering pump again to refill all your watering cans. Simple as that. And then you just rinse and repeat uh, until you're level 30. So the next portion of the guide will be what to do after you've reached level 30 farming. And we're strictly going to do fruit trees and regular tree runs uh, once in the morning and once at night. And this will just help get you into the routine of training the skill gradually. That's all I like to really do with this skill. I don't mess with the allotments. I don't mess with the herbs really. They're nice money if you need them but this guide will just be strictly on how to train for the best XP rates an hour and really just like doing small minimal effort to train the skill. Alrighty, and once you've achieved 30 or above farming, you're going to want to set your inventory to match mine. 
Uh, you'll only need a rake and a spade. I bring one stamina potion. <laughs> Make sure to bring your cash stack here as well. And then there are four fruit tree slots that we have access to um, as low levels or obby accounts. And we have five regular trees. So also for these, you will need the appropriate payment. So you can always check that in the skill guide. So willows, for example, have a basket of apples. And for apple trees, you'll also need nine sweet corns. This payment can be noted. And you'll also need one Camelot Teleport, one Varrock, one Lumbridge, one Falador. Um, house tabs are optional. These are used if um, you have 50 construction and have like a portal room. And this can actually uh, minimize all of your uh, inventory spaces here. You don't really need these as long as you have uh, house teleports and the appropriate portals in your house. You also need a skills necklace, a necklace of passage, a ring of dueling, and a ring of wealth. Okay, now assuming you're starting at the Grand Exchange, we can go to the first tree patch over here that is east of us. This is going to be the efficient route path here. This is what I always do. I always start at the Grand Exchange because I'm always there buying stuff. And this is really just simple to get to. We're in the uh, castle area here. And this is the first one. And you see my tree is already grown, but for this guide, you'll just, uh, you'll have to rake this. And then once it's good, you will just use the willow sapling on the patch and then pay the farmer. And then that's it. You don't have to water it or anything. You just need the rake and you just need the spade. And that's really just it. Um, and then you just try to go as quickly as possible. So once this is done, boom, you just go to Falador. And we were in that uh, Falador Park not too long ago, but that's where we're gonna head as well. Drink a dose of Stam if you need it. And just to the east here is um, another patch. So just do the same thing, rake it, plant the sapling, and uh, pay the farmer the appropriate payment. And then from here, we actually have another regular tree that is up in Taverly. So I always just run. And of course, if you have the uh, construction cape like me, you can always teleport to Taverly House Portal, which is kind of nice. Saving time. But yeah, uh, I necessarily do not mess with a lot of the uh, allotments, like the standard ones, like where you can plant potatoes and flowers and herbs. I literally just don't do those because those just take so much time and maintenance. Uh, so here's another one, just rake it. Uh, use the sapling, pay the farmer, and move on. Uh, you're just going to go to Lumbridge next. It, the order really doesn't matter. I'm just showing you where all the patches are and what I do, for example. So if you do one out of order, no big deal. Um, and then these trees grow within three to four hours plus. It just really depends on the tier of the tree. So like use, for example, take like five hours or so. So you just uh, plant, pay the farmer, and you're done. You just go to... Um, where do we go to next? Um, we're actually going to go to the Gnome Stronghold. And since I'm an obby, I do not have access to uh, the, the trees. So actually the quickest way to go is by the Necklace of Passage and you're gonna go to the Outpost. And you're gonna be over here in basically the middle of nowhere, but this is outside of Ardong. And you just literally go north. That's it. This is quicker than going the uh, fishing guild method you can alternatively use the skills necklace to go to the fishing guild but i kind of like this a little it, it's really quick and they're cheaper too not to mention that but as i was saying yeah these trees typically take four to five hours to to grow so i typically do one farm run in the morning when i get up and then one farm run at night and so i could see keep the same inventory and it really doesn't cost too much of a hassle. Just rake it, plant, and pay the farmer. And while you're here, we actually have our first fruit tree, which is kind of nice. It's actually just north east of here. It's actually just, just east of this spirit tree. Um, see, I have a palm tree planted, but you're just gonna rake it, plant your apple, and then pay the farmer. This farmer is always hard to find. I don't know where it is. I really don't care where it is. You just pay the farmer and you move on. Um, so we're gonna go to Camelot. 
This is basically surrounding our um, two other fruit trees. So we're going to go south into Catherby. And again, all of your teleport methods change if you have um, house tabs, if you have a decent house, or the cape itself. It's kind of nice. It really speeds up the runs. That's why I basically got 99 construction at the start of this account because I knew it would be just that much more efficient in everything else that I do, questing, skilling, whatever. Uh, this is the second fruit tree patch that we're going to go to. Just rake it, pay the farmer, move on. We're actually not going to teleport. There's a close by um, option to get to Brimhaven, which is our second, or sorry, our third fruit tree. So we're just going to go run back west where we just came from. And we're going to go on the docks here. And we're going to charter a ship. And this is why you need some GP. Um, Brimhaven, there we go. Yes, it's expensive. Got it. Cool. Get off the dock and go south. And it's literally right past the dock, so you can't miss it. So another patch. You just go rake, sapling, pay Garth, and then you're done. Um, then the fourth, you're going to want to go to Castle Wars. And this is the longest one. We're going to go outside of the castle wars arena here and just go north and since we do not have access to the spirit trees again uh we're gonna have to take the long path but there's a quicker path if you have spirit trees unlocked where you just go to the uh the battlefield out here <laughs> and you just it's right there after the battlefield spirit tree but i'm an obby one attack it's not fun but it is though. It really is fun making obbies. It really is. This is my fifth obby that I've made. And I always come back to him. So we just follow the river here and eventually we find a bridge to get to the other side. So just use your mapping, best mapping skills. Do, 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 do. I told you it takes forever to get over here. All right, and as you can see, it's right here. You're just gonna rake it, plant the sapling, pay the farmer, and move on. And I believe that is all of the patches. I don't believe I missed one. Let's see, we got Farrock, Falador, Taverly, yeah, we got every single one of them. That's really all it takes, guys. Um, and as soon as you are done with all those, you literally wait till the night or whenever you want to do them to just go back and you check the health and you'll gain a massive amount of XP. And then you'll pay, you'll actually pay the farmer to chop it down for you. Don't take the effort to just chop it down yourself. It's not worth the time. It's not worth it at all. Just pay the farmer the 200 gold and they'll chop it down for you once you've checked the health and you'll be able to plant a new one really quickly and just teleport and move on with your day. This is the least hassle skill in RuneScape, I swear. Oh, and uh, one more thing. After you have reached level 65 farming, you actually unlock another regular tree at the farming guild. And you can go there via the skills necklace. And it's literally in this western room here. Right there. You do the same thing. You just incorporate that into your run. It's the last place that I go to. And also at, I believe, 85, level 85 farming, you also unlock um, Celestius and the extra fruit tree patch here to the north of the farming guild. I can't actually enter here. It'll just kick me out. Yep. So that's it for the guide. Uh, just like, comment, and subscribe if you want some more guides from me. Uh, make sure to join Abby Elite CC. It's very friendly. Uh, atmosphere for obbies and um yeah that's all i have to say peace